animatedanatomy.com. So, in this lesson, I will talk about the deep muscles in the anterior compartment of the forearm. That's right here. In the previous lesson, I talked about the superficial muscles in this anterior compartment here. So the first muscle that I will talk about in this group is the pronator quadratus. The pronator quadratus has the origin here on the ulna, and this is the muscle. The, the, the insertion of this muscle is on a radius. The function of this muscle is to pronate the forearm. When it contracts, it's going to make the hand rotate inwards. That's called pronation. It is innervated by the median nerve and more precisely by the anterior interosseous nerve. The muscle that antagonizes our little pronator quadratus is the supinator muscle. It is this muscle here. And I think these names tell you everything. This muscle makes the supination and this muscle makes the pronation. Another muscle that I will talk about is the flexor digitorum profundus. Remember, in the last video, I talked about the uh, flexor digitorum superficialis. Well, this one is profundus. The flexor digitorum profundus has the origin on the ulna. The insertion is the distal phalanges. Sorry, these phalanges here. This muscle is innervated by the median uh, nerve, more precisely, actually, the anterior interosseous. It is also innervated by the muscular branches of the ulnar nerve. It serves to flex the hand and the interphalangeal joints. So it flexes the hand and it also flexes these joints here. The muscle that antagonizes this muscle is the extensor digitorum right here. And I think when you just think about the names of these muscles, it tells you almost everything. First we had the pronator quadratus, now we have the flexor profundus, and now here we have the extensor and previously there was a supinator. So as soon as you know the name, you know the function. There is one more muscle in this anterior compartment of the forearm the deep compartment of the forearm. And that is actually here, the flexor pollicis longus. Now the name tells you everything. It's flexing the thumb and it's the long one because we have the small one here too. But remember, do not study about the small one right now. Right now in this group there are only three muscles. Okay? Now the origin of our a flexor pollicis longus here is obviously the radius, then comes the interosseous membrane and ulna, and sometimes it can also be the medial epicondyle here. Now, the insertion of this muscle is the base of the distal phalanx of the thumb. Here it's illustrated, it goes all the way to the top, but no, that's wrong. Just remember, it goes here on the base of the distal phalanx. Now, the function of this muscle is flexing the thumb and it is innervated by the anterior interosseous nerve, branch of the median nerve, just like the other two muscles. And it's important to say that this arises from C8 and T1. There are two muscles that antagonize this, are a little here, actually long, uh, flexor of the thumb, and that is the two extensor of the thumb, the short one and the long one. Pardon. So here we have the short extensor, and here is the long extensor of the thumb. So they antagonize our extensor pollicis brevis. So, uh, pardon, our flexor pollicis longus. Here, this was the extensor pollicis brevis, and this was the extensor pollicis longus. Now I will talk about the posterior compartment, and that means these muscles here. And I already mentioned uh, some of these muscles when I talk about the antagonists. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description, or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, 
or like my video.